What's up, you and haters? It's Hardison. My room is messy because I'm moving out in one month. Today, I am going to talk about my occupation. First thing first, I am a bar staff at Two Dogs Fukuoka. As everybody already knows, I've been working there for five years total, I guess. And I'd say I'm the only one staff who remains there since the place has opened. Now I only work there twice or three times a month because I'm being busy from my day job. And my day job, I can't really mention any details because it's confidential but it's kind of office work um it's service industry i think that's all i can say it's very stressing and depressing my depression attack or whatever it is it just came back two or three days ago because of the work i'm doing right now and i don't really know if i can continue doing this and i'm already stressed because i don't know if i can keep working there that's the regular jobs i have right now so far i'm kind of doing um translate interpreter research thingy but that's only six hours a month or something that's what I'm doing right now in the past I used to have some weird jobs like first job I got was high school teacher I am a licensed teacher in Japan I can teach English in middle school and high school which is really embarrassing because I don't really think my English is that professional that I can teach kids but then surprisingly in high school I don't really know if I can say this but most of teachers are racist they're raising racist kids and their English is not good at all but I'm pretty sure they're good with grammar but I guess that's it if I start to talk to them in English they'll be really confused I believe because some of them they never have been abroad and became an English teacher in Japan so yeah this is the quality of English education in Japan I can be a teacher too because of this low quality if there's any middle school or high school that want to hire me please email me thank you the next job, I worked for university. My job was to proceed visa paperwork from students abroad who were coming to Japan, checking all of their paperwork, schedules and things. I'd say my job was basically looking after the international students. That it was fun. I liked it. There was this like one psychopath lady working with me. I felt like I was in hell for real. Oh my god. Anyways, because I worked for university, I kind of know very well about paperwork, about like visa, like inbound visa thingy. And I say I kind of know things about studying abroad inbound outbound either way and after that i started to work for hotel ish industry so i kind of know the system of airbnb booking.com agoda those things i know risks and laws but i don't know it's not very useful i guess and the next job i had was a manager of this English school and I am not allowed to talk anything about it so I'm just gonna skip it I write blogs I made some money from that but now I really don't have time to write any blogs I'm being too busy it's so depressing but yeah uh, I wish I could just make a living with that I really I really wish I don't dislike teaching I'd say if I were a millionaire I'd definitely gonna make a new high school or a middle school because I know how horrible the education system in Japan is and how low quality teachers can be in this country I really wish I could just have a school and run it by myself That'll be awesome. But yeah, I'm broke, so that'll never happen. But if you're a billionaire, invest me. Let me start a school, please. Another thing I wanted to do was starting a brand. It's just like making sweatshirt and t-shirts and things. So yeah, I wish I could just like start a new brand and then just sell them. But I'm too broke to do that. And I want to make a perfume, cologne. That'll be awesome because I really love scents, you know? 
I'm weird, I know. And I want to do a sort of tattoo designer thingy for people who try to get a tattoo, like Barbecue Girl, which is really cute. So yeah, if you are thinking about getting shitty Japanese tattoo, just hit me up, I'm gonna help you up, but it costs. YouTube, I, I can't make money from this thing. No, blog is way better. I have this weird certification. I am mental care counselor. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's weird. I learned about psychology and mental analyzation. I've never really used it in my life. I just took it because I wanted to have a certain distance between psychos. That's basically it. That whole things are the reason why I don't know what I'm doing in my life. I have too many jobs and I really make money from like none of them. What am I? Why did I even start to shoot this video? Oh my gosh, this is so depressing. I gotta go. Bye.